well that Utah pushed the pace in their initial meetings back in October. Expect to see the same Tittery pass in front shot by Ryan Mizniak, and they score. Comes just 19 seconds in. Mizniak left open in the middle of the slot, just snuck it by Thomas Scholl. Mizniak gets his first goal of the year, and it's already a 1-0 Utah lead. In the near corner, Steelhead's getting some play here after the media timeout. Trying to play it back to the blue line, comes to Kessie in front. One time shot, they score! Hale Kessie circled to the near wall, and Val Colton Saucerman streaking off to the back end. That's Saucerman's fourth goal of the season, and the Steelheads have tied things up in one. And Bukowski picks it back up over to Pierce, right side, high slot, dragging, shooting, he scores! The monkey is off the back for Elgin Pierce. He got a nice pass to the high slot and beat Carr Glove side. That's his first with the Steelheads at fourth point, and the Steelheads take a 2 1 lead. Able to get a lot of good opportunities back in front. Ryan Walters shot, he scores. Walters came in as the trailer off the bench, got an open feed, and beat Scholl just off the near post. Colin Chuck, Jared Jacobs with you this evening. Steelheads with the face off and shot, scores! Jeff King sauced it off the face off to the blue line and a care off the body of Kyle Shem right by Kevin Carr. Here comes the green light, so it's going to be six on five. Puck comes back, McFarland tracing to it, right side, stick check from behind, runs to the right wing side, trying to come in toward the net, cuts and shoots and scores! See, McFarland was heckled on his way toward the net. He got by two and fell twine for the open goal now. That'll do it here from Central Link Arena. The Steelheads close things down in the third period. They get two, including an empty netter by McFarland to take this one four to two over the Grizzlies. They extend their win streak now to four straight games, their longest of the season, and they keep pace with the top end at the Mountain Division standings.